Alright, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick one <laughs> on this. And I have a card that I drew that I will show at the end. So uh, this is thanks to and shout out to Angie. And the other is Sadhguru video I may very well do one of that as well because that's I mean it, it, it's just it's all very synchronistic uh, right now so like, things I've been talking about with people and things that are coming up I mean, this, this is just how it works <laughs> in, in our realms with the happening so we just flow with it, right? And uh, we attach ourselves to the things that... We don't become attached to them. But we give awareness to the things that bring about inspiration and love and... I don't want to become uh, too new agey in my linguistics, but you go with what feels good, what feels right, and it's not about right or wrong. It's uh, it's about um. Oh, shout out to Krista Naples and and. <laughs> zigzag it's about finding that sweet spot engaging in polarities learning from experience and that's the key here people um, above and beyond anything else learning from your experiences that's the most powerful thing uh, that's gnosis you don't need necessarily to, uh, you know, listen to other people or to seek outside of you. Absolutely don't need to do that because that's going to draw away from what you need to be paying attention to, which is what is happening within. That's going to dictate and directly correlate with what you are experiencing without. And like I always say, don't take my word for shit. Experience this stuff for yourself. As per usual, shout out to Zenat Man. Your live stream the other night was uh, most entertaining. Also, uh, I, I went through a lot of sh shamanic stuff uh, during that because of my surroundings. Unfortunately, I was not able to go live with you on Instagrams. And uh, no, I do not have a baby. I just use that as like a metaphor. Don't wake the baby. Because I was surrounded by uh, infant mentalities that were sleeping. So I mean, we we have to uh, become aware of the mentalities that we're working with in other people. Uh, whenever we are engaging with other people, this is part of the process. Realizing where other people are at and engaging them on that level. And that's not to say that you, you Approach them as like 
as if they are any less than you or any more than you. That's that's absolutely not uh, what you need to do because uh, that's, that's not the reality. Unless you choose to create that mentality, then you create that reality for yourself. Realize that if you are uh, feeling trapped or neglected or subjected upon this is a mentality that you have to work with inside yourself and these are just words here this is all easier said than done but these are navigation points to help you realize what it is you need to work on inside so basically okay <laughs> After that 605 intro, uh, this is a little bit about marijuana, a little, mostly it's about, uh, your own, uh, chemistry set, and this is also <laughs> something that I mentioned and, uh, commented in Kristen Naples' uh, video. And this is this is what I meant by like uh, your body's your own laboratory is because you have all the chemicals you need already, and so if you choose to engage something to stimulate or or whatever, then this this should be a learning uh, engagement process for you and not an addiction because. Uh, you have been taught and indoctrinated to become addicted to things and then become ignorant of the causalities. Realize this. Refine, 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 and redefine the subtle reality. of as within so without the the balancing act and, and that ebb and flow it's very subtle but once you find that sweet spot you you know the feel of it you know the taste And you know when, whenever you are on one side or the other of the balance, uh, ping-ponging and the polarities. And there's no right or wrong. Sometimes we have to ping-pong in order to recalibrate our homeostasis and our central point. Because it, it's, it's always, it's all adjusting. You know? It's all readjusting and, and uh, <laughs> reattuning. If you look at me, you would think I'm smoking, right? Don't look at me. So there's a lot of things here. I don't know how long this is going to be. I may play all of this to just, uh, there's so many things. There's also so many things, um, there's so many problems that I have with, with, uh, quote unquote gurus and, uh, teachers and people who play a role. And, uh, they get too caught up in projecting and sharing and teaching and they forget about the uh the steps and the uh integration they forget that life is constantly ebbing and flowing in 
learning and teaching. And whenever you present yourself and either I'm a student or I'm a teacher, then you have lost focus. You have lost psych of what it's all about because you are always constantly both. You are everything. Integrating all the hues to become a human. Of course, that's not to say that we can't find nuggets and, and things to uh, pique our interest and uh, inspire us to go further within, to uh, find new avenues and pathways to ignite us. So uh, this is this is why I'm sharing this. Do I agree with everything this guy says? No. Do I vibe with uh, the level that this guy is at? Yeah. Yeah, I feel where this guy's coming from. But there are still belief systems that are set up that uh, we fall prey to. So, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just go. It's many times happened to me. People who were smoking this thing in my place, they always invite me because when they look at me, they think I must be a smoker. <laughs> Which happens with a, a relaxed state, like uh, his eyes kind of just seem like he's daisy and, and gazing, gazing off. Which also happens whenever you're in a constant meditational state. But I can tell you that this guy can get very real and very serious on a, on a dime, like on a switch, very quickly. Uh, to, to experience this guy's fierceness would not be something that, you know, <laughs> would be desirable from someone that, that has reciprocated that effect. I tried to speak too quickly there. <laughs> this guy's in a very relaxed state because he's uh, around a lot of people and he knows uh, he, he's, he's coalescing and collecting the, the collective um, awarenesses and correspondencies to be able to commune in a certain way. He... Do not mistake this guy's demeanor. He is choosing to do this. He can choose to do whatever he wants. To go crazy. He could literally, like, spit fire and showcase. But what he's doing is the subtle approach, which, um... Is appreciated, but also we are uh, at a moment now in in this uh, time period, if you want to call it that, where uh, the subtleties have, have uh, become something that are lost in the waves of stimulation and ignorance. So, 
now it is time for the bards to step up and to showcase to uh, get that attention and awareness. And in doing so, it's uh, getting an awareness into the realness, back into the isness and the stillness, essentially. And this is happening on all levels, and I'm seeing it on all, all levels. This is why I'm, uh, I, I have uh, many tendrils and tentacles out on uh, many different platforms and levels. And my feelers are uh, sensing the happenings. And uh, <laughs> there are many coalescings that are happening on many different layers and platforms and that's very vague but uh that's if you are kind of doing the same thing and expanding your awareness then you are picking up on this as well they need to understand this whatever chemicals we put into the system either in the form of this or that, whichever way. Essentially, it can only ignite something within us. It cannot by itself cause too much to us. Only those kind of things which will put you to sleep totally, like an anesthetic, they work in a different way. They completely knock you down. But all the others which have some sense of experience, they're only stimulating something within you. Now the question is... And this is what we out here talking about whenever we say, I am drugs. I am the causality. And then people will be like, you're fucking crazy. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You've lost it. Whatever, that's fine. You don't, you don't get it. And, and this is also a sidetrack here in the saying that um, a lot of us are at a point now, a lot of us are at this point now where we are in this refinement process and we are realizing we don't need to go out of our way to explain to people the causalities to explain why things are the way they are, to explain why things are the way they are for them, what they are doing to themselves. So uh, I just wanted to send this message out as well, is that reel it in, people, reel it in a little bit so that you recognize whenever someone is truly yearning for knowledge, and really open to uh, expand their mind or if they're just playing a part and if they're just playing a role and if that's the case we we have no responsibility to do anything. It, it's a choice. It is your choice. If you want to choose to give your energy to that, then that is your choice. But realize the fixation that people have. 
Um, we, we are in a time right now where people are very flip-floppy and wishy-washy and they will at one moment seem to be in a place where they want to integrate and to know and learn stuff and in the very next moment they are caught up in the projection and reflecting and they keep go bouncing, ping-ponging, right? Back and forth. And uh, if you pick up on this with someone, you need to realize, do I want to give my energy to this ping-ponging person? Is it worth my time and energy? Or do I say what I need to say? do what I need to do, whatever that is for you in the moment and just leave it be, leave it at that. So uh, reel it in people. Choose wisely how you emit your energy and your awareness and your offerings. Yes, you know, love we, we can love everyone, we, we don't have to like everything, <laughs> and we can choose where we give, where we receive. Harium, self-start or push-start? If you know how to stimulate yourself, you can sit here in great pleasure. That's awesome self start or push start because uh this this is what essentially everything is stimulant and he said even things that are knockouts that that is stimulating a certain aspect of you that that is the fall asleep fall asleep or the um go out basically out of body um, out of a place of awareness, so, so that even even the depressants are stimulants. If you want to look at it that that way, it is all stimulating a certain thing inside of you. But what he's talking about is the things that are stimulating certain parts of you that you have been led into believing that you do not have access to or you have been indoctrinated into believing that those aren't normal states to be in because the normalcy that you have been indoctrinated into is a compliant mentality a numbed down and dumbed down mentality. So oftentimes whenever you start to engage certain things and wake certain things up inside of you, it's going to be a very lonely process because the people around you and your immediate surroundings most likely are not going to be engaging these things. They're not going to be supportive of these things because it's scary to them. I've had my own immediate family tell me these things are scary to them. They don't want to hear about them. And I didn't, I didn't come at them in a way where it was esoteric or occult. You know, I just simply said, I will sit down and explain the things that I feel, the things that I believe, and we can discuss them. No, I don't want that because it's scary. That's just a reality that, that we have to come to uh, realize, you know, it's part of this process. And I know I'm speaking to the choir here, but if anyone uh, hears this that needs to hear this, then know that that's just fucking part of it, dude. It can be very lonely sometimes. But keep going because uh, that's...
gonna help you wake up to what is really real, what is truly true within you. Otherwise, you have to put something from outside. Shiva, Shiva. was not such a cripple <laughs> that he needed chemicals from outside. He was stoned, no question about that. And I, and I fucking appreciate that and love that. Because uh, he's recognizing the uh, mentality of being uh, high, essentially. Or like he's saying, stoned. Because that's a mentality. So yes, like, uh, he's using Shiva in this reference, but this is the... Uh, You could call it self-realized mind state, where you are in control of your chemistry. And it's not about being high or low, it's about being in a place where you have access to whatever you need. You, it's it, it's about choice, okay? It's always I'm always going to come back down to this point that it's about choice, control, and what I mean by control is not not being controlling or over controlling. It's about control of your choice, control of your mentality, control of your emotions, not thinking about. I want to be in control of my emotions, but feeling that I have access and awareness to how I feel. And that is going to take time and certain cognition it's going to take a coalescence of the awarenesses of the experiences but by what is another matter he is not using substance, he is the substance. So, I can make that happen for you. If you can be with me in a certain way, I can have you all stoned out. Ah, <coughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking beautiful. If you be with me in a certain way, I can have you all stoned out. Yeah, that, that, that happens, bro. So, like, living in a fucking world where you constantly do this to people, I, I, yeah, it, it's really fucking hard to exist in, in this world right now that we're in. Whenever, uh, People really like want to be stoned out by you, by your presence. And uh, I'm, this is an ego shit. You either you either re recognize and realize this, and, and you know this for yourself. Or you are just on the outside looking in. Because the substance is not outside, the substance is within. Yes. So, those who want to emulate Shiva, first they must sit and move for three months. Three months. They laugh. And then, maybe they can smoke also. This happened, Adi Sankara was walking. He's a brisk walker, he must have been. 
because by the at the age of 32 he left before that from the age of 12 to 32 in those 20 years he crisscrossed india a few times not from kerala right up i just wanted to say that uh zen atman you seem to be like a, a very brisk walker as well um and so am i we have many correlations and connections and uh seems to be that we are brethren on many levels but yeah let's see if i can skip to a uh another point here to project from Today the entire world is talking about it because they haven't found any other better way. There is substantial research on this. They are saying eight point drop in one's IQ will happen. You don't have to go to any research. Exactly. Those who are generally on the smoke, if you see them, they are acting peaceful. This is generally he's talking about. There, there are some who are stimulated to a point where they are reminded. So the, these substances do uh, different things for different people, and you have to you have to recognize and realize this if you are getting into um, plant spirit medicines. That these things are going to show you things inside of you first and foremost. So, so don't become too attracted and attached to the things that are happening, quote unquote, without, because the happenings within are showcasing and telling you. Where you need to put your focus. Where you need to cultivate your awareness. But you don't give them their substance for two days. You will see how cranky they become. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Every day you give the dose, they're nice. Peaceful. You will be peaceful when you're hazy. But that peace is of no value. And one thing is, don't give them the substance for three days, you will see they will explode. They will and this is the uh, detox symptom. This is, uh, you know, withdrawals. Um, it doesn't matter about marijuana or any substance, caffeine especially, any kind of stimulant, any kind of addiction, high fructose corn syrup, food in general. This is why fasting is so fucking important, people that you can get those fucking addictions out of your system. You can get clearer in the mind. Everything's all smooth and fine and groovy and gravy whenever we get the fix. But whenever we are An absence of this. <sighs> then you start to see a flip flopping happen, and uh, many people keep. This is this is this is the addiction uh, phase that people are going through uh, with many certain things. Food is the biggest, I would say. Um, it's, it's the most subtlest, but it's also the most powerful. Uh, the most direct and in your face is going to be the chemicals, the caffeine, the stimulants, the drugs, the, uh, the tobacco mixed with all the fucking other bullshit chemicals that people are intaking. 
and then yes to marijuana because that's being overused. And if you overuse something, you, you are going to become dependent upon it because you have been indoctrinated into becoming dependent upon something, an idea, an image, a belief, to become dependent upon government, upon a paycheck, upon welfare, upon whatever it is to help take care of you, to help you exist within a certain mentality to where you do not go past a certain barrier or point of awareness. And belief systems come directly in play with this. They are set up to stop you from continuing your path of integration and knowingness and gnosis. So yeah, I'll end it at that. I'll go ahead and share the the card that I drew. Hierophant. I don't even know. Nope. No, no sight. No vision. And so the clarity within becomes clear. An Aztec priest. Kneels in front of a marble platform resplendent in leopard skins and a feathered headdress. He holds a flaming scepter. He gestures above. The man and woman crouching at his feet. Behind him, a heavy veil hangs between two pillars. That's fucking perfect. Two pillars, the two polarities, the veil that hangs between. The Hierophant fosters the spiritual growth of his people. Just as the Emperor governs their secular lives, he teaches us about the sacred forces that lie behind everyday reality. His life revolves around one of the greatest questions of humankind. How are we related to the divine? Having dedicated his life to studying spiritual traditions, the Hierophant is a strong link to the collected genius of our ancestors. While the High Priestess symbolizes the profound mystery at the heart of all religions, the Hierophant symbolizes their specific teachings. So essentially that means that... I mean, it's just everything I've been talking about, you know? <laughs> uh, as is most, most every drawing that I read from. It's a representation of what I just talked about. The mystery at the heart of all religions. Well, this is uh, the origin point. The creation. 
what's what what created these religions in the first place he offers both the best and the worst ideas of the past it's up to you to decide which ones are useful to you like I was talking about with choice as leaders throughout history have demonstrated the Hierophant can get too attached to a particular dogma and even be corrupted by his authority which almost always happens with power like the Emperor he can become rigid and intolerant demanding conformity and blind adherence he may forget that each person must ultimately find the sacred in their own way the wisdom of the ages is only useful if they can be adapted to the present that's fucking key When the Hierophant appears in a reading, it's time to take stock of your spiritual beliefs. Not just spiritual beliefs, but just all beliefs and, and, and disintegrate them. Let go of them. Dive into direct experience and then reform what you thought were beliefs. Looking into different teachings and traditions can help point the way, but ultimately, the Hierophant challenges you to comprehend your relationship with the sacred at a very personal level and follow a path that is truly your own. So yeah, this is all just stuff I've been fucking talking about lately. So that's fucking perfect. Realize what is within you. Realize the tools at hand. Realize that you have the power to choose where you direct your flow and your focus and thus the course of your life. And... How reality will flow. It's You are the director. And orchestrator. So come to realize this. And oftentimes We have to take away. We have to. Realize that less is more. So that we can truly come to realize. The power that we have. In the mind. In focusing and choosing. What we truly desire. So yeah. 2020 vision get clear on the recognition and clear admission peace